What's up everybody, Benji Bruce here, and I'm gonna show you a 13 step process to make videos with your phone, for your personal brand, you're marketing yourself, so how do you film with your phone? This is 13 steps, let's get into it. Step number one, find a sexy beast, check. Step number two, go over what you're gonna say in the video so you don't sound like a dumb dumb. Let me do that again. Step number three, decide if you wanna use the front selfie camera or the back camera. Now the selfie camera, it allows you to see your sexiness, you can see yourself, but you might get distracted by looking at yourself instead of the camera. The back camera has a better quality camera and you're less likely to look at yourself because, well, you can't. Step number four, decide on how you want to shoot. Is it gonna be a talking head video with a tripod, a black background, a white background, a living room, a homemade studio? Alexa, turn the studio light on. Are you gonna be walking and talking? Are you gonna be shooting outdoors? How exactly do you want to shoot? Step number five, set up the lighting if it's needed. A ring light works really well, unless you have glasses. Then it looks pretty dumb because you get to see the reflection in your glasses. Step six, stabilize the shot, either on a tripod or a selfie stick, or if you're holding it, just don't move. Step seven, make sure you're in frame. Most of the time you wanna be in the middle of the video, you don't have to, what the fuck? Step seven, make sure you're in frame. Most of the time you want to be in the middle of the video. You don't wanna to have too much space above you or you're gonna look like a midget. Step eight, before you start recording, put your phone on airplane mode so nobody calls you. Step nine, hit record, but wait a few seconds. This is really just to make sure that you don't cut yourself off in the beginning of the video. Step 10, this is technically optional. You can get B-roll footage just to make a cool intro. Now B-roll footage, it's obviously, it's the extra footage that mixes with your main video footage just to make everything look cooler. So it's best to use a gimbal when you're getting the B-roll footage, that way it's less shaky. Step 11, edit the video. Now you can obviously add the B-roll footage so it looks cooler, it sounds cooler, and you're cooler. Mm. Step number 12, upload the video. Step number 13, well there is no step number 13. Here's the thing, when it comes to recording video with your phone, just recording video in general, you just do it. Just pull out your phone, don't make it more complicated than what it actually is. Take out your phone, hit record, and get to it. 